Okay, so I admit it, I like McDonald's coffee. I'm not sure I like it enough to brew my own McCafe at home. McDonald's is taking a gamble now, stocking store shelves with its own branded coffee. Obviously, it's not the first company to bring its trademark products inside stores. Why start with coffee that now? And will it make investors hungrier for its stock? Marketing genius Brewster Kell and investment manager Dan Schaefer are with me now. Bruce, what do you think? I would have started with the McMuffin. Frozen that, put it in the freezer section. Why start with coffee? I think the, the Egg McMuffin would have been great. I don't even think it would lose any taste if you froze it. The <laughs> reason they're starting with coffee, I don't think it's McDonald's. I think it's Kraft. Kraft makes okay. the coffee. Kraft wants more space on the grocery store shelf. The only way they can get that is if something else gets moved off because they have a new exciting product. My guess is that Kraft went to McDonald's and made the deal. Yeah, Dan, I mean, is coffee a huge seller for McDonald's? I mean, that's not even having their trade. There's Starbucks, there's Dunkin' Donuts, there's a million different things. This doesn't make that much sense to me. Well, you know, their sales have pretty much been flat for the last 12 months. The McDonald's. Revenues. McDonald's. Yeah. So I think that they're looking at the coffee industry, which is percolating. Right. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. And the price of coffee is at like a three or four year low. I mean, it's yeah. extremely low. So why not try to use the backbone of craft for marketing it and put it on the shelves? Yeah. Bruce, I mean, this is a huge revenue driver for so many companies out there that have a brand. You know, they have figured out. Uh, we had the CEO Fatburger on. He was talking about taking the patties inside Walmart, mm -hmm. I think it was. Is this, I mean, this is a great way to make money. No, who's doing it successfully? Who could you see doing it in the future? It's a great way to make money, and there's lots of companies that do it. Friendly's ice cream, you can buy it in the, uh, in the grocery store. Nathan's hot dogs, you can buy it in the grocery store. The interesting thing to notice, though, is there's some grocery products, coffee specifically, that used to come from restaurants that don't exist anymore. The Chock Full of Nuts brand, there used to be 80 of them in New York City, and you could buy the, the coffee in the grocery store. Now you can buy the coffee, but there's no restaurants. Uh, Howard Johnson's ice cream. Used to be thousands across the United States. Now you can buy the ice cream, but there's no Howard Johnson's. Wow. Who's not doing it, Bruce, that you think would be a smart fit? Well, I think there's a lot of companies that have products that we love. First of all, I think McDonald's should be doing it with their French fries. Imagine if you could get those and make those at home. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, but I feel like that would damage the brand because, Dan, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think McDonald's French fries are the best out there. I agree with you. I think it has to do with the way that they deep fry them in that fat and whatever, you know, how dirty <laughs> that oil is, how disgusting it is, how yeah. laden with fat and calories and things that are going to kill me. Mm. So if you make it out of your freezer, it's not going to be the same thing. It's going to ruin the brand. You think, or you think it's a smart move? Well, I think that if they put the French fries in the store, nobody's going to go to McDonald's. I mean, you go to McDonald's really? for the French fries. No. Oh, I used to go to Burger King for the hamburger and McDonald's for the French fries. <laughs> right. But you're still going to, I mean, you don't really honestly think as an investor that it would cannibalize the business, do you? Because, I mean, when you're in the car and you need something hot and fast, it's about not wanting to cook. Are yes. those really the same? Well, you know, I, I think they would sell well, but I think the company would do well with that. I, I think yeah. they'd do better than with the coffee. Coffee is such a competitive area right now. Yeah. And their coffee is kind of on the, the, the less strong. It's uh, like right. a Dunkin' Donut brand. So it's really not that exciting. And uh, I, don't, I don't understand why they're doing this yeah. except to put their toe in the water with For, for with a bigger craft. project. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Bruce, you know, I joke about liking the McDonald's coffee. I like it just fine as long as I'm there for something else. I wouldn't actually coffee. go in and buy it because I think it's good in and of itself. Am I alone? Well, Dan said something that really made a lot of sense. He mentioned Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts turned their business around on their coffee. Dunkin' Donuts is known for having terrific coffee. And by putting it in grocery stores, they yeah. were able to expand their brand, especially at a time when people were not eating donuts, or at least were not thinking they were eating donuts. You know, they wouldn't say they wanted them. But if you'd go there for a cup of coffee, yeah. well, then, heck, you're going to have a donut with it. McDonald's coffee, you just pointed out, is the opposite. You're going to McDonald's. You yeah. like coffee. Therefore, you'll drink their product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dan, you were talking about how stagnant McDonald's is right now. What would yes. you like to see them do instead of this? Well, I think they need to improve their menu. Uh, people are becoming healthier, and, and they're thinking healthier. Yeah. So some of those menu choices need to be more organic. If they, they start using the word organic, you'll have people going there more mm, often. Okay, Bruce, I mean, I want to hear you react to that, because if McDonald's starts using the word organic, I'm going to just feel like they're <laughs> lying. I mean, I, it just it, it clashes with the brand so much. It's about fried fast food. Could they go organic? Would that be believable? The only way they could sell the organic product is the way they sell salads now. The salad exists solely 
So when your kids are bugging you to take them to McDonald's, you can no longer say, well, there's nothing for me to eat. Right. You can still order a salad. Now, we both know you're going to reach over and eat your kids' French fries anyways. Right. But the salad gives you the excuse to get over your guilt and go in there. I don't think the organic product point. is going to is going to change what McDonald's sells or what the customer wants. Not every product has to be healthy. McDonald's sells a very particular product to a very particular audience. They're not going to get the health nuts to go in there now that they've got organic products. I don't buy that. No, but it does. I mean, it does make sense. My kids want to go there and I'm like, I just need right. one thing to be able to eat as, as the main thing. Just so you can say, oh, no, 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 I'll have a salad. Right. And then Whether I do eat do most of that, and I eat some fries, too. Of it course you okay do. It okay in the end. All right, guys, thank you so much. Good Bye -bye, stuff. Bye-bye, Melissa. Up next.